Good morning to you and welcome. My name is Daily Fix and we are going to be playing as the Kingdom of Castile. Um, it, it's, it's going to be something because um, Castile is actually one of those countries you can actually do a world conquest with. Now, I don't expect me to do that. I don't have enough time in this game. But I've been looking at openings. How to open your game as Castile and apparently... You can vassalize Byzantium, uh, not through regular means, of course, because, well, they just will not. But uh, if you declare war on them, no CV, uh, make sure that we got some, hopefully we can get that access. Yeah, military access with the Ottomans, just land them right here in Ottoman territory, just march them over, just siege everything down. That would be very cool. Uh, they have a vassal here. Which is Athens. I, I thought it was Arta as well, but it, I apparently, apparently I was wrong with that. So we will get started by forming an alliance with Aragon. And does Poland hate? Who hates the Ottomans? Who hates the damn Ottomans? Austria, the Mamluks. Uh, getting the Mamluks in there would help me. But they are not interested in an alliance. Well, maybe we don't have to care. The Ottomans... Uh, they have a reconquest on them. That is true. But we don't need to do this right now. I wanted Aragon. I'm not going to go with Portugal. I got other plans like taking everything they own. We're going to group these guys up. We are going to be... Getting a few additional ships. Let's move you guys over there. So we've got something to do. Uh, who else? Who we, are we going to rival? Um, not Aragon. Maybe England or France. Who would benefit me most? Well, England is so far bordering me. We know that France is going to be taking that. So if we could just... Perhaps get England? I'm not sure about that, actually. Uh, I do want to get Portugal in here. I would like to get Morocco in here. And maybe we'll just leave these... Hmm, we could add Burgundy. But I kind of want to get my guy on the throne there. If possible. Uh, the navy is weaker and England is, is stronger. So perhaps we should go for France. Try to take territory in there. And that would probably... Yeah, that would definitely please Austria. And actually it would please them so much... That they would consider us as... I think as their... Um, as an alliance. And that is interesting because they also rival an enemy, the Ottomans. Which is uh, is absolutely good for us. So let's uh, rival France. And we'll make uh, England our buddies. I believe this will actually... Look at that. Negative 8. Negative 8 is good. Negative 8 is really good. I like that. Crown lands. Let's take that. Let's see if we can get... Let's see. Um, no. Don't want to develop. Will not get my manpower to 90. And a trade power in the Gibraltar Strait. Uh, 65. Uh, uh, sure, I'll take that. Uh, what's my trade currently? 47. So once we start getting our ships in there, we are steering into this. Uh, from Tunis and from Safi. So the Clarice, I like to give away a most of my production and let's go with i would love to take the admin since my ruler is it is just useless really useless uh, but for now let's not let's just take land and we'll add these later so i don't get just punched in the balls mm. oversight by the clarity sure let's go for that Let's go back here. The nobility. Uh, monopoly. Monopoly. Supremacy over the, tr over the crown. 
And I, we could actually go for increased levies. It will increase the manpower as well. <clears throat> uh, national manpower, look at that. Just like 50%. We'll, um, we'll keep this... Uh, we'll leave this one out for now. We'll add this later. Uh, as for the burgers, there is one very, very cool one. Uh, Predators for the arts, I really like that because we get some more prestige. And that will give us a positive in prestige. And prestige is good because it gives you morale of armies, navy, spy detection, all of that stuff. So, national tax modifier. Uh, but first things first, monopoly, monopoly. We could also go for ship trade power plus 10%. <clears throat> uh, control over the mo uh, the monetary policy is also not too bad. Although all power cost plus 5, I don't like that. Now this is the exclusive trade, right? That is only for Castile, I believe. Or only for this trade now. Not specifically. It gives you 3 merchantilism. And the local development cost, negative 15%. So developing in this uh, trade node is quite useful but let's take that for now let's take a look here so 77 75 and 68 in cumbrium for those three so that's that's quite good we'll uh we'll leave those uh, others open for now we'll get a good amount of cash so i would like to get my trips now let's start with mercenaries not the highest amount here. Can we get like 8? If we can get 8, we're done. So, we got 24. We need to go to 33. So, we only have to get one additional trip. It's expensive though. But, it will help me with my manpower. So, let's produce down there. And we'll add one more troop. Let's see. We got 8 and 4. 9 and 3. Uh, let's just add a regular infantry onto those. We'll get one guy over there. And potentially... Well, we're definitely going to get rid of our air. That is for sure. That is something that we have to do because... <laughs> I love that people say, he's a complete tool of a human. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, do I want to get rid of him right now or just wait for a tiny bit? Chance of a new end negative. This guy is, is absolute rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Now, what to do? We can improve with Austria over here. So, we will. Because that's just good to get. We do want to get more ships. Now, we can decide if it's going to be beneficial for us. To get lights or heavies. And I'm thinking perhaps one heavy. And two lights. Uh, the heavies we can actually use in here for, for the fight. Uh, I believe that Byzantium itself. If we go to navies. There you go. Uh, let's go Byzantium. Is having two lights, five galleys. And the galleys is the thing that is just awful for us. They will uh, definitely tear us a new one. Maybe just the, the lights. Lights is cheaper for us right now. Get rid of one there. Let's build them over there while they are moving. Advisors. Well, um, I'll keep it on military for now. Truces are going to be expiring. That means that uh, there's a few things. I will. We can build up with Granada. We don't necessarily have to do that. We can also start building up with Portugal. Uh, but I also want to start building up with these guys because we are, of course, going to be declaring an OCV war against them. And uh, we want to be ready, so we want military access with the Ottomans. And I would like to get my COVID action started. So let's speed up the game here, at least to three. I'm not the fastest player here, guys, so if you're here to uh, expect fast gameplay, then... Yeah, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I will pause a lot. We'll pause a lot. Uh, let's go get you over there. 25 even with the 8. That's going to be enough. You're going to be moving there as well. There is no... No rebels coming up. So that's quite nice. 
I want to see how much we would lose. There we go. So we're up to... Uh, we still need to go to those mercs. So... Uh, Nevada. Well... I'm going to allow Aragon to deal with that. I'm not. And... How much is this? 1.4. So we don't have that much. We can actually use our heavies to protect our coasts. And now Morocco is raiding our coast. And the way I think raiding goes, it's it's three. So he could raid all the way up to... Yeah, he's definitely raiding here. And I'm thinking he will go here as well. So these ships, and they will raid these provinces as well. A nobility will lose 10 loyalty, we will pay money, we'll get a negative 10 tax modifier, yearly prestige plus 0.5 and possible advisor plus 1. Nobility will gain a lot of loyalty. <sighs> I'll, I'll pay for it, I don't like it. 10% is, we're going to have a problem. Uh, Morocco has announced us their rival. I'm quite surprised they didn't rate this, so maybe it's just 1, 2... Just two sea tiles that they can raid. Not particularly sure. Can we can we check that at some some way? Let's take a look. You like the idea to raid coastal provinces. A fleet is able to raid the surrounding coastlines for sailors. And gold providing will So it's uh surrounding. So it will be the next. So this one, this one, and they would be able to raid this. But they did not. Maybe they are going to. We'll arrive at the Strait of Gibraltar. Let's we'll see. Um, we'll build up that spy network. Can we actually... Get the alliance? Negative 18. It's because they have way too many alliances. That will sort themselves out. So that ain't the biggest problem. We're making point 10. So is it possible to get ourselves a, a advisor? No, not really. Uh, we'll get rid of the mercs later once we actually build all of that up. Let's take a look at our missions. We want to prepare for the reconquist, uh, conquista, and we need our force limit to be higher. Uh, we can trade 5% of our army professionalism for uh, almost 6,000 manpower. Will that be enough? No, it's not going to be enough. Will this number drop automatically? No, so we'll just hold on to that. Uh, we have the uh, military axis. Now, we need to get some guys in here, so we can land them over with the Ottomans, ASAP. Um, probably over here, and just move them straight into this region. Let's take a look at fortresses. There's one over there, and there's a level 3, like, damn. I want to get at least a guy on that, so they don't build new troops. Because that is a damn nightmare. Moldavia is here hmm. that's annoying it's guaranteeing the independence so we don't have to care about that that's 3k so that's not too many trips okay we'll um, get started on this uh, how long for the ships though shall I go for the uh, the royal marriage yes I'm going to get this guy away from us. So the air is gone. Yeah. Okay, ships. So they're 20%. Now we don't need them right away. We got 10 transports. So we can actually move them. Let us get those guys in there. And these guys as well. And we'll move you over there. Uh, let's get both of you, all of you, get over there. Let's wait until you're there, and we'll uh, we'll declare war on Byzantium. And hopefully, I can do this. <laughs> I will look like a fool if I didn't. That's fine. So, RD arrogance have claimed our throne. I'm absolutely okay with that. Let's go with declare war. We'll lose two. Moldavia will join. Aragon won't. That's eleven thousand. I would like you to be in that tall place. 
So I would like, like to land my troops and immediately get more. Let's go. And transport out of that region. Someone is about to attack me. Hopefully it's not too powerful a navy. It's one ship. I'd say I'm cool with that. So let's move them over there. Uh, and we'll immediately get started on that. Let's send you over. Actually, let's send everyone over here. Let's group. No, we don't have to. But everyone will go there. Uh, we got ourselves our leader. Let's go. Let's get started on this. Uh, they, do we get access through here? No, not yet. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. I don't expect them to engage my navy. They have some galleys, which is definitely problematic. Come on, get military action through this guy next to us. Board level 1. Board level 3. Do I want to detach for siege? Well, I'm quite... I would be very surprised if they did not attack me. So we'll let those guys go until we get more troops. They should be landing relatively soon. Uh, once we take this, we can actually just boat bomb them. Because now they're going to be landing here on the Ottoman territory, which is not a problem. Hopefully the next army can pass through this. We'll see. Can you pass through this? No, you cannot. But you can go over there. Let's go. We should get ourselves... Do I want to spend the military for another general? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Unless I notice an army, then of course we are going to be getting one. And we can actually do that in the Ottoman territory. I just want to make sure that I don't gather up a huge ass army. And we'll have to be careful of Moldavia as well. Though, yeah, they definitely joined. They definitely did. So we'll see it's down Byzantium. Yes, this is an OCB war. I've read on Reddit that actually this uh, is not a bad idea. Get another general. Oh, okay. Well, it's something. And let's wait. Because he's moved out. And we can actually move on top of it right now. So we'll sit on Byzantium there. I've read on Reddit that uh, doing this no CB war in the early game is not such a bad idea. Let's see, we got three points. Shall we just go for the additional admin? I think we do. Let's do that. We'll get four points. Just siege that um, that all down. That's being sieged down. My next troop is going in. Oh, well done. They have managed to support... Uh, just one troop. <laughs> so that, how are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We'll build up with them. Also, Austria. We're at war, but they would now pro They would go for the alliance. Okay, let's move you over there. And we can actually go in here. Let's move you there. Let's see where those troops are. If we lose one unit, I'm okay with it. They could lock me in here. That would be terrifying. If there's troops in this region, I'll be... So screwed. But I don't think there will be. Wait, we can move over there now? Wait a minute. Okay, let us detach. Move you over there then. There you go. My troops are um, have made it on the, sh on, on the coastal lines. We'll um, get some admin going. Once we get the stability up, that's good. Seize that down. That is not being fought there. There is strips. Get you over there. Scorch the earth. Get as many up there as possible. Even though we don't have a general, let's make sure that we get the morale up. And there we go. Let's kick those asses. That's nice. 
That is nice. Okay, let's just keep those groups over there. Uh, there's the other army. Can we go in here? Those guys are not being attacked. Mm, okay. Uh, the Ottomans will not be fine. Uh, but we're going to be allying ourselves with Austria. And the Ottomans themselves aren't the biggest problem right now. If we can control the crossings. Let's see. We got some more ships over there. Let's go group you over there. Uh, once my ships are back. And we got a Enrique 333. Well, it's better than a 111, I guess. Although... I don't want to abdicate him. Don't want to. We got ourselves an heir, so we can make our ruler a general. We can kick out our other general then. Go sit on top of that. It's called Bosporus or Straits. Yeah, thanks, mate. The, stra the Straits I knew, but well, <laughs> English number one for me is quite difficult. But that's fine. We almost got that one. They're not attacking this. We got two active cardinals. Let's see. How many generals can we have? We can have two. Let's kick out this guy. Oh, he's standing on top of that, huh? I believe the one. Ah. Oh, well, we'll just wait. We'll kick him out and we'll make our rule. I want my, uh, my concert queen. To be reigning as long as possible, I guess. Come on, just take the fort, will you? Go there, right now. Go siege the, uh, that down. They won't attack it to 10k. I think we already, well, mm, maybe. There we go. We got all of that. That's nice. Mm, we can leave this to the mercs, actually. Let's kick out this guy. It has four though. Three movement. I, I like the this the shock more right now. Can we just, you know, kick him out, please? Oh well, whatever. Whatever, dude. Um let's tell us about the event of the Napoleon succession. Uh, Naples becomes independent, ruled by... Ah, damn you. I kind of wish that that would be later. Not right now, you know. Let's move you over there. Uh, let's kick out our general. Oh, it's this fellow over there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, now it makes sense to me. Uh, we'll see you down the fortress. Let's go towards Moldavia. Let's merge these two together because we will be attacking with that. I'm not too worried about these so, for, so far. Let us get my ships over there. Low crown land will happen. That's almost at 100. I'm kind of hoping that we'll get an event for the plus one stability. Probably we won't. Let's group you guys up. Let's move you over there. Uh, we'll have to deal with Moldavia. Just piecing him out would be nice. And building up that spine network. We can actually stop. We need to build up with Portugal. Let's call back the one from Austria. So that's 1k troops. So we're not worried about that. We could siege it down. But let those, uh, those 1k's go. I wonder well where they will you know, uh, group up. Which country do you uh, country do you play mostly? Well, actually, I'm a new player. I'm a new player, and I started with Cologne. I like these smaller nations. Actually, here it is. Um, but back in the day, the Netherlands separatists were definitely broken. Then I played as Holland, and I fulfilled all of those missions. I've played as England, and I did all the missions. I recently finished my Bavaria 
uh, series, Reform Germany, which was quite fun. And it learned me that I had to be way more aggressive. Okay, so these guys, let's see, we are in grassland. That is also grassland. Let's move out. Let's see if we can actually get this one. They might go over here. We'll have to reinforce, but apparently they're going for my mercenaries. What countries have you played? Uh, this is wood, so let's see. They would be there on the 14th. And we would be there later. But this is also wood. So let's wait here. Let them attack into me. I'd rather have that than anything else. The 25th. And we would arrive the 28th. So it would still be defended. Hordes mostly. They are too bro. Is it fun playing a horde? I've never. I would love to play a horde. This is Highlands. If we can wipe the floor with the 7k, then that would be absolutely fantastic. They will most likely start sieging down Athens. Or Athene. It's really fun. So, is it just uh, rushing trips? How, how does it go? How does it work? Tell me. How does it work? Playing as a horde. Yeah, that's 2k. I would don't mind that to it taking that. And now they're further away from each other. Let's wait here. Let's move you closer. We'll have to reinforce this, and we will. And he's going for it. Okay, let's get my ships. Do we just, you know, grab these guys up? Get you over there. I don't think I can hold them off, but if, it can, if we can just make sure that we can um, attack into it, then that's fine. So they're both going to siege this down. He's going to siege it down. Will this mean this is actually Highlands? Kind of don't want that. Let's wait until my troops are there. Let's see what he does. So he's waiting. He's waiting. We're waiting here. It's good. We're on 21%. It's really fun. Oh, I, I was thinking about... Um, going with the the Moogles? Is Moogles a horde? I don't think they are a horde. What would be, uh, or is, uh, horde make shock damage? And the army, like, four inf Six, That's, like, the other way around. Is it, isn't it really expensive? So, right now, this is still defensive, Right? kind of do want to move these guys over but i need my um my navy in here if we can just attack these two then that would be great just one uh just smaller navies at a time oh really oh that's cool man can we take byzantium before they take back athens Okay, so the first Christian European power to secure a new source of gold will reap the greater benefits. Interesting. So we had our uh, naval fight. They lost two of their small ships. And I believe, but I most likely will believe wrongly that they cannot cross. Uh, let us spare no expense. And I need one more. To get out of this damn negative stability. 7%, 35%. By the looks of it, I will be first. What's going on with Granada over here? They have ally Tunis. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. Let's see. Shall we attack into this four? Will they help? I think if they do, that will be too late. 
We didn't capture any ships, but they will, will definitely got their navy out, which is also good. We got Byzantium. Let's go move those groups over here. We, we're going to be attacking them. Uh, we now have enough 